So what is going on everybody? Fernando Silva here with another video and today we got a different one. So we want to branch out a little bit and I've been using this iPhone 13 Pro Max since its release date. And with my history of the iPhones, I actually skipped the 12 and the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. So I actually missed out on all the MagSafe accessories. So I'm like a year behind. So I'm finding all these new MagSafe accessories like MagSafe cases, MagSafe wallets, especially MagSafe wallets, MagSafe batteries. I'm finding all these MagSafe accessories like very, very beneficial. So today I'm gonna to show you guys my three favorite MagSafe wallets and kind of compare and contrast them because they all technically like they're wallets, right? They're there to do the same thing, hold your credit cards, maybe hold a little bit of cash, but all three of them are completely different in their own right. So I'm gonna lay them out all for you, compare them, see exactly what's going on in each one. and I'll let you guys make a decision which one you think is the best one for you. And I'll link them all down below. So without further ado, Let's check out these MagSafe wallets because I think you'll be really, really intrigued. Let's get it. Okay, so let's start with the one that I've had the actual longest. So this one is by Andar. They make a lot of leather accessories for the 13 Pro and a bunch of other mobile devices. So when I was first looking for MagSafe wallets, I just wanted an alternative to Apple's expensive wallets. I think that one starts at like $70 or something, maybe 60. And Andar had a very quality offering for way less. I think it was like 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks for these. So overall, what Andar has is amazing. So it's one of those classic leather wallets that ideally gets better and looks better over time. It slaps on even caseless on the iPhone itself via magnets, and it holds, I would say, up to three, maybe four cards. I actually had to stretch it out a lot in the very beginning. In the very beginning, it only fit two cards. And again, I have a mixture of regular credit cards, metal credit cards, things like that. So right now I have three cards. One of them is a metal card and then two regular cards. So, and those fit perfectly with nothing kind of coming out or loosening up. Now I do recommend if you're gonna use this MagSafe wallet, for the most part, it stays in place, right? You can see that it does stay in place, but if you have like some tight jeans or something like that, maybe those jeans will take them off. So I do recommend getting a case that has a very strong magnet, like the Andar cases that give you some extra like magnets inside of the case itself to make sure that the wallet is secure. Cause again, it's a wallet, it's holding credit cards and stuff. Even though it's a lot easier to manage it when you get lost or stolen or you have to cancel them, it's still kind of a headache to deal with if you do lose your wallet. So this one again is by Andar, just a wallet. It's very premium. The leather smells delicious. And again, over time it does get better. And I've had this one for, I wanna say four or five months now at this point. So that one is by Andar, highly recommend it. And again, I'm gonna link everything down below if you guys do wanna check it out. So if a simple kind of elegant leather wallet, MagSafe wallet, this is the way to go. And you can see that it has a little divot right here to push your cards up and pull them back in. And then the back of it just has some very minimal Andar embossed branding. And same with the front, it has their logo on the bottom right. So the next one we're gonna talk about is by Moth. So I'm sure people have heard of Moth before. They have these like origami style, very lightweight accessories for Apple products or any products for that matter. So this one is no different. It is their MagSafe wallet. But again, with Moth, usually when you buy one product, it has like 18 different variations of what it can do. Because again, if you buy maybe like the laptop stand or the iPad stand, you can you know that you have like three or four different viewing angles for one single almost pane of like cardboard. So that's what's beautiful about Moth. But this is their Moth wallet. So what I liked about this one is, yes, the leather isn't as premium, and honestly, the color is okay. I'd rather have it in black. But even though the leather isn't as premium as Andar, the function, there's a lot more function out of this wallet. So yes, it is a classic wallet. It'll hold, again, up to three or four cards. It does kind of stretch out a little bit, which is nice to see. And I actually didn't have to stretch this out for a little while. Like I literally, with the Andar one, since it's actually pure leather, I actually had to stuff a bunch of cards in there and like leave it like that overnight. So it did expand a little bit. This one, I had no issues with that. I just stuffed cards in there. Even though it is a little bit snug with three cards, especially if you have metal cards, it's still plenty for a minimum of three cards, maybe four. But the reason I like this one is because again, the function. From a wallet standpoint, again, it's just another wallet. But from a function standpoint, it's also a stand. So you can see that you have three different ways or three different viewing angles because it's a classic Moth product. So you do classic vertical mode by just doing it like this. You can do, you can put it in horizontal mode or you can put it in TV mode too, which I actually use a decent amount. I kind of like how it has like a floating design. It makes the iPhone look like a TV. But then also they have like a third function, which is almost like a little loop back here. So you can actually just open this up loop it up and make sure that the phone stays in your hand. Now the magnets on this one are also pretty strong. You can see that I'm shaking it as hard as I can and it's still not coming off, but also I always recommend if you guys are getting MagSafe wallets, especially maybe MagSafe batteries, not that big of a deal, but MagSafe wallets, get yourself a case that has extra magnets on there. Like I get my cases usually from Pataka or I'll show you guys another case soon here by Magbach that also has some very strong magnets. But this MagSafe wallet is from Moft. And again, because it is from Moft, it has all these different functions. So it's a wallet first, it's also a little like loop for security when you're holding your iPhone. And then finally, it is a stand that has three different stand functions, which is honestly very, very functional. And for the most part, even though I like the look of this Andar better, 
this moth one, the function is just hard to beat and I do use a stand a decent amount. So I've been using the moths for a little while now. So again, so far we've got Andar and then we got moth, two great options. And then finally, this is the newest addition to the repertoire. So this wallet is by a company called Magbuck. I think that's how you say it, it's M-A-G-B-A-K. Very, very premium brand. You can see that the leather is wonderful. Like I'm a big, big fan of the leather. You can tell it's also made out of leather, very, very good finish. Like I love the way it feels, I love the color on it. And you can see that there's actually two compartments. So this is the first one that actually has two compartments. So you have one compartment for cash and you know, don't expect to have like a bunch of bills in here. Like maybe one or two bills can fit in here. And then you also have a little section for your cards. Now this is very, very rigid and you can tell that it's rigid. And the first function is that, yeah, it works like a normal wallet. So if you have just the mag back, like if you just wanna go out and purchase this wallet, it's gonna work like a mag safe wallet. And that's pretty much it, but it does also have a little loop on here. So similar to the Moth, but it has a dedicated loop for you to be able to hold your iPhone and you're all good to go. But where you really step it up is if you get their MagBot case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and then you get a bunch of different functions. So let me show you. So here we have the MagBot case. You can see it's a very you know traditional case. It has that kind of like soft silicone feel that Apple's cases have and very minimal branding. You have the, you have the name embossed down here and then the logo right in the middle. And what makes this thing a little bit special is how it works with the MagBot wallet. So you can see, like I showed you guys earlier, it works as a normal wallet if you just have an iPhone with any other case or just iPhone all naked. But if you have this case, there's more magnets built into this case that allows you to use this as a stand very similarly like the Moth. So like I showed you, you just slap it on here. And when you have this, this thing is not coming off. Like this thing is like hard to pull off even, you know, just like, look at this. That's crazy. It's very, very secure. So keep that in mind if you want like the most secure situation. This case with this wallet, it'll never fall off no matter how tight your jeans are. But what's nice about this is that it does have some added function when you're using it with the case. So it acts as a stand. So the first mode is just a regular portrait stand mode or, or vertical mode. And the way it does it, it has other hinges. So it almost looks like a little door hinge right here, as you can see. And all you do is you put it down. And all of a sudden it's nice and stacked up like that. Same way to do landscape, which is cool to have. And then finally, it also has maybe not the TV stand mode, but you can also grab it, throw this on the back like so, and then lay it down here. And then again, you're dealing with a nice little viewing angle for you to be able to use your phone in landscape mode. So those are the three wallets that I've been using and kind of swapping around. The Magbox is the newest one to the portfolio that, I've been, that I really, really like because again, the function is great. With items like this, yes, some people want to have a very nice and aesthetic and appealing look, which depending on where I'm going, like I'm going to grab the Andar one for that. But if I need a little more function, I'm going with the Moth or the Magbox. But honestly, the Magbox is a great little addition, especially if you have the case. If you have the case and the wallet, that combo together is beautiful in terms of both form, function, and the fact that it's the only one that lets you actually carry cash. Now the other ones can fit cash, but this is the only one that has advertisements with cash in it. So on this side, you can see that there's a little, it's like a little divider where you can maybe slide one or two bills in there, kind of fold it up and then use your finger to pull them out. And then same thing with the, with the credit cards, you have a little slot here to push out the credit cards and you can fit four cards in here pretty easily, especially if you don't have any cash. But those are the wallets that I've been using and I really, really like them. So I just wanted to share those with you, give you guys some ideas. I know there's a bunch of other ones out there. I've never even tried the Apple ones because I just refuse to pay that much money for something that I can get on Amazon for A, way cheaper, or B, some of these other brands which I'd rather support because they have some nice innovative stuff coming out. Where Apple, they just grab some leather from like Italy, put an Apple logo on it, and then, you know, that's their MagSafe wallet versus this. I don't know, there's a little more care a little bit more behind the scenes, like people just care about it more in my opinion. Apple can stick to making the iPhones, let other brands make the accessories. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys made it to the end, leave a little dolphin right here and leave a comment down below which one is your favorite. What kind of person are you? Are you the person that wants something more like the Andar where it's aesthetically pleasing, the leather smells good, you know, no real other function? Or do you want something like the Moth or the Mogbok where it's like, where yes, it's a wallet, but it also has a little loop for security and then it also is a stand for whenever you need it to be a stand. I'm a big proponent of them having a lot of function because I like that a lot. But if I am going out to like a nice dinner, I'm grabbing the Andar wallet. But like I said, that's gonna do it. Leave a comment down below which kind of person and which you know customer you are, consumer you are. Very curious to know. And if you guys wanna find out some more stuff about iPads that were just released, like iPad OS 15.4, click on one of these videos. But that's gonna do it. Until next time, peace. <clears throat>